Congratulations on purchasing the GX7 X Metal. Today, Dennis and I are gonna go through how to hit this club and how to use it. It is a very versatile club. Remember, we're not doing a long drive contest against your driver. This is consistently longer than your driver because you're gonna hit way more fairways. And Dennis, what happens when you hit the fairway? You're putting it on the green usually. The you're not chipping rolls. out right, it rolls too. That's the big thing. We talk about it all the time. What about all those shots that end up in the rough? What good do they do you? You're chipping out a lot of times. It's not going very far. Playing from the fairway, especially in this winter time that it is right now, that the ball's chasing like crazy on the ground. So you want to be able to hit this club, and it's got it's so versatile in the sense that you can tee it up pretty low if you want to and can hit a little low bullet off the tee, or you can tee it up higher, hit it as high as you want to get the carry if you need it to carry over a bunker or whatever you need it for. We're going to go through all of those scenarios in a little bit, but we we'll just want you to notice the the bar here that looks just like a seven iron, and this is what we want you to do. We want you to swing this like a seven iron, please. We're not hitting this like a driver, swinging up on it five degrees. We're trying to hit the ball more solid, more consistently solid, more consistently in the fairway. If you hit the ball in the fairway, it's gonna roll in the short grass longer. So our whole goal here with this club is to make you a better golfer, right? We're gonna hit more fairways, you're gonna hit more greens, and it's gonna be a whole heck of a lot more fun. And you're gonna save some money on some golf balls too because you won't be losing so many golf balls. But, um, <laughs> Uh, everybody loves their seven iron, Dennis. Right. Everybody, what's your favorite club in your bag? It's seven anywhere iron. from the seven iron to, I mean, from the eight iron to the six iron. Right. It's the seven iron. So we're going to have you swing this golf club just like you're hitting a seven iron. And we're going to show you a couple of other shots, teeing it up a little bit higher if you're downwind. And then even chasing some, some low bullets on par fives when you're trying to get it up to into wedge territory. Right. Yeah, just try to get it up there and get a little closer. I know that for a lot of you guys, to swing at 75 or 80 miles an hour, the biggest problem for most of you guys is that you don't have a club that you can hit off the fairway to hit it any distance. You're not trying to hit it to the green, you're just trying to move it forward. Most of the guys I know that, you know, that are swinging in that 75 to 85 mile an hour range, the par fives are the longest holes on the golf course for right. them because they hit two shots and they can barely get home in three. So that's really what we want to do. We want to make sure we put your ball in the fairway and give you the opportunity to hit this club off the deck and chase it on up there and be able to get a short iron in your hand to attack the par fives. It's definitely a chaser off the deck. This is not a hybrid, guys. If you're planning on hitting this thing <laughs> high off the ground, this is not the club. This club is to hit more fairways off the tee and to chase balls down on long par fours that you can't reach into and long par fives where you're trying to get yourself into a position where you can hit a scoring iron instead of hitting a hybrid and then another hybrid into the par five. So should we get started? Want to show them? You want to go first I'll or go want first. me to? I'll yeah. go first. All right, so we're just going to show you guys first the, the normal shot where I'm hitting off the tee. We're going to tee this up a little bit higher than a three wood and a little bit lower than your driver. So, you know, most people would tee up their three wood right down in there like that. And then most people are teeing these giant driver heads that they have up about that high. So we're going to go halfway in between where we got half the ball above the crown of the driver. If you can see it there. The, of the X metal, you can see some of the ball above the crown of the driver. That's perfect. That's going to get you right here in this sweet spot. And we're just going to hit this thing just like we're swinging a seven iron. We want to swing down on it. We are not swinging up on it. This is not a long drive competition, okay? So if I take a little practice swing and kind of brush the turf like that, that should be perfect for when I'm hitting this drive. Man, that was smashed right down the middle too. I mean, that's exactly where we want to be after we're hitting a ball off the tee. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about where we're going to stand in the stance too, Dennis, because this is, this is a club that's 43 inches, so it's going to be a good two, two and a half inches shorter than some of these crazy drivers that these uh, OEMs are putting out now are so long. So with some of the drivers, we got the guys so far away from the ball and the swing is so flat and so long it's just very difficult to get the club, to get the ball in the center of the club face all the time. That's why we hit our seven iron straighter than we hit our three iron. We hit our pitching wedge straighter than we hit our three wood right. because we're closer to the ball and the swing plane is a little bit more upright, which means we're dropping the club head on the ball. That, that's gonna give you solid contact in the center of the face every time and it's gonna be consistently as long or longer than your driver. So a lot of, with drivers, we're way out here. We're gonna be getting a little bit closer to the ball like we're hitting a seven iron. So our swing path is gonna be a little bit more upright. So we're gonna be dropping the club right down on the ball. Not reaching out like this and they get this big old giant swing. It's like a boxer. 
If you're boxing some guy and he goes like this, this big roundhouse, you got no chance, you just duck, right? But if that guy just gives you a short little quick right, you're in trouble. Catch you right on the chin and put you down. So let's get away from this and get a better posture, like we're getting ready to field a ground ball. A little bit close to the ball, a little bit more upright. Hammered. <laughs> it's automatic, just like a seven iron. I'm hitting a, I'm hitting a GX7 X metal off the tee, swinging like a seven iron. It's as easy as pie, Dennis. It's pretty good. Even Wanna for give you. It a shot? Even for you. Well, let's. I want to show them everybody now. Let's show them a little bit about the two T drill because okay. this is something that is really, really important. We've talked so much about hitting down on a driver, trying to not hit up on it, falling backwards and helping it up. It's the worst thing in the world you can do. It totally is an inefficient way to hit a driver. And what we do here is we tee up two balls. So we're going to put one out in front, about three inches out in front, about where we would normally tee up a driver, and then we put this one right there. And now we, what we want to do is we want to hit that forward tee as we swing through. We don't want to go, you're going to go ahead and do it? You're I'll do it, do it. Yeah. You do it. You're warmed up. So ideally, I would, we'll, we're going to hit this ball, and this back tee is just going to slightly tilt towards your target because you're hitting down on it just a little bit. So you're going to catch part of the tee, and it's going to move it gently. And then I should clip the top of this, and it'll either come out of the ground or it'll be bent all the way over. But the average angle of attack with your swing on the PGA Tour is one and a half degrees down. So I don't understand, the best players in the world are one and a half degrees down and we got people teaching, let's hit up on it five degrees so we can hit it four yards further. No, let's hit down on it like the PGA Tour players do so we can hit it straight, long, and in the fairway every single time, just like you're swinging your seven iron. So I'm gonna clip this ball, I'm gonna hit this ball, and I should clip that front tee. And that's as good as I can hit it. That was awesome. This tee tilted slightly, and I knocked this one out of the ground, which means I was at a downward angle of attack. If I do this properly and I hit down on it slightly, I'm gonna hit this ball and it's gonna clip the front of the tee and it's gonna push this forward. And then the club is gonna hit this tee and either knock it out of the ground or pull it up and forward. Sometimes it'll come flying out of the ground. But as we saw after my shot, this is about how it ended up by hitting down on it slightly. I'm going to put a bunch of backspin on this ball, which is going to make it fly very straight. Carl, what we got to explain to these guys is, is that this club was built for you, not for the tour player. This club is built for you. That's why there's this little bar here. Gives you the help that you need. It's built like a seven iron. That's why you want to hit down on it. You do not want to hit up on it. You just saw Carl. He actually pushed that first tee into the ground a little bit. You can't do that hitting up on it. There's no way. Physics won't let that happen. And this, this tee came up and forward. So that's what you want to do. You want to disrupt the turf a little bit. Feel like you disrupt the turf. Most of you guys dis disrupt the turf, but you're hitting the big ball before the little ball bouncing the club into the driver and releasing all that energy. And the main thing about this, this golf club that allows you to do it, it's how square this face is and how forgiving it is from heel to toe. It's amazing how big the sweet spot is on this golf club. Also have the tungsten bar here in the back to help to get the ball up in the air so you don't have to worry about that. So now we can focus on hitting down on the ball slightly just like your seven iron. Look, every amateur's favorite club is your seven iron. We've designed a driver so you can swing like your seven iron. Let's stop trying to swing up on the ball and hit the ball up in the air. Let's swing our driver like we're swinging our seven iron. Let's swing the X metal like we're swinging our seven iron and hit more fairways and be consistently as long or longer than your driver.